Okay, here's my build of the uh, Rick, YouTube's Rick 100 uh, robot bulldozer project. Uh, I made a few changes because that's the fun of doing a build. It's no fun just copying somebody's stuff direct, right? Um, first was I used a blue TT motor. That's the metal gear TT motor that has the uh, 190 or 90 to 1 gear ratio so that the motor wouldn't be lugged down by driving the treads and everything. It draws less current that way so your battery life will be longer. And in fact, instead of using uh, three double A's, you could use three triple A's, which would fit in and out of the toy easier. Now, speaking of fitting in and out of the toy easier, I didn't like the fact that you had to remove eight screws to lift the body off to get the batteries in or out. You've got uh, four screws that hold your blade on the front, and then there's four screws, two in the front and two in the rear, that hold the body on. It's a lot of screws. So... On the uh, bottom frame for the whole thing, I made a couple of changes. One, I changed uh, to the switch that I have in stock that I like to use. It's a little bit larger, the mounting. And then I added this a battery compartment door. So you get these two small screws you move. You can peel this uh, battery door out and drop the battery pack straight down without having to uh, take the body off. Now, Rick uh, made his radio controlled using the uh, radio control guts out of a Coke can toy. But I decided to make mine tone control, whistle control, if you will, just for the fun of it. So I added some uh, slots to the back of the body and actually hollowed out the body and the neck a little bit more to make room for the uh, electronics, which you can see in my earlier video when it, before it had a body on there. In fact, I'd, at that point, I didn't know that I was even going to make a body. So let's see. Those are really the only changes. The little change to the to the robot's body for the uh, circuit board and the tone sensor, change to the bottom for the battery and the switch. Um, for the eyes, I'm using red-green LEDs, meaning that there are three legs on the uh, LED, and the center leg is your common leg, and you can buy them as common cathode or common anode. I happen to have the common cathode, which means the center leg goes to ground. So these two legs, after you've run them through some current limiting resistors, run directly to the motor, to the TT gear motor, because we're reversing the voltage on the TT gear motor to uh, steer this thing. That way, um, one time with your center being ground, one of these two is going to be positive, and that means that one will be lit, and when we reverse the voltage, then the other one's going to be positive, and that way I can have green eyes, say, when I'm driving forward, and red eyes when I'm uh, turning. So, with that being said, what else? Oh, there was one more thing. On this bottom frame, while I was uh, changing the switch and adding the battery door, I decided to move the screw mount point for this front hub forward uh, half a millimeter to uh, reduce the amount of slop. The, the uh, tracks, treads, whatever you want to call them, are still plenty loose. They don't bind, but it's a little bit less sloppy, and I kind of like it that way. So, here you are with the uh, green eyes on. So if you watch the eyes, and watch your treads as I blow the whistle. You can see how the one tread reverses and the color of the eyes change. So that's how you turn when you're going. And if you or young and you got a lot of good breath in you, it could be a fun toy. Or have a bigger area to play than this little piece of bench here so you don't have to blow it quite so often. Uh, I printed all the parts in this uh, gray PLA and then just hand painted them. So the paint job isn't fantastic, but it, it does show off the really good design job that Rick did on everything. I mean, his, his gears, his mechanics, his print and place tracks, all wonderful. And if you watch his build, you'll see how nice his turned out and how professional it ended up looking. I just felt like doing a few things a little bit different on mine, and there you have it.